What up, you guys? It is Funk Snuggly Bear, and we are back for another playthrough of Mario Super Mario. Let me clarify that it's not just regular Mario. This is Super Mario RPG. Um, we ended last time with fighting the Nightmare Before Christmas boss, aka Freddy Krueger, aka Spiky Hands, uh, who threw bombs at us, which doesn't make much sense to me, but. You know what? I'm not going to argue. This is not my game. This is a great game that I'm enjoying so much so far, so I love all the surprises and every little thing that it throws at me. Uh, the one thing I do have to admit is that I'm an idiot. Uh, that I was supposed to continue forward through the level instead of going back into the town, and I decided to run back into the town. So. Uh, as you see me here, I'm going to traverse the mines once again, get to where I fought off against the final boss, and hopefully trigger the end scene. I do like that you can trigger that shy guy more than once if you leave the uh, caverns or the... what is this? Caves? Caverns? Same thing, right? Mines. Mines. That's the word I was looking for. Monty Mole Mines, that's all I have to keep repeating to myself, Monty Mole Mines. But this will give me another chance to do some uh, quick grinding, going back through, I'm probably going to have to face off against a few more of these bombs, and then see what this uh, ending has in store for me. It's usually a little unique, uh, all the endings usually have something that like brings you into a new area, unlocks a new area, or has you play a mini game, like the one where you do the river rafting. So. Uh, just like those types of games, really, really nice. Also in news, uh, to not date the video or anything, but uh, there was an announcement that the development team for Kingdom Hearts 3 has finished, so we should be looking at a completed game for that. Only reason I bring that up is because in my last video, I mentioned how Kingdom Hearts were sort of like an abridged version of RPGs to me. And like those are what got me into the system, like the buddy system, and choosing what weapons to use against certain bosses. So that got me really excited because I love Kingdom Hearts. Um, I'm loving this Super Mario RPG, so the next installment should be something that is really crazy. Plus, a combination of Disney characters and Final Fantasy characters is always a win-win. You're getting probably the best of both worlds uh, with the imaginative minds behind both. I know Square Onyx, and I know I'm probably saying that wrong to a lot of fanboys out there, make great games. So uh, that's why I'm definitely appreciative. This looks interesting. We hopped on a minecart, and okay, hey, we got another minigame. Speak of the Devil just bringing up the mini games from like the uh, barrel rafting and everything this looks like I'm controlling a minecart uh, there's mushrooms that I can pick up I'm not a hundred percent sure what the point of here is just besides escaping the uh, minecart here and I'm already flying off the tracks I don't know if the timer will give me a bonus or if it will not or if I'm just racing against myself here So far, pretty fun though. Like I'm not, not hating too much on it. I think I definitely enjoy how it's going. I just, for some reason, always seem to fly off these hairpin turns, and I'm not 100% of what to do there. I clearly made that jump. I 100% made that jump, and the game did not want to give it to me. So uh, once again, bad programming. Zero out of ten. We're not play again. <laughs> just kidding. Like really enjoy this game. And then so. Moving on to, this is a like for like ripoff of the Donkey Kong Country minecart level. Um, doesn't look like I can fall off here, it looks like I'm just supposed to be collecting coins and mushrooms, but this is exactly what the minecart level in Donkey Kong is, uh, except I like how this one has a little light, like it, it's showing you the way in front of you. But I wish there was, like, some danger there. Also, another completely clear jump I bounced on to the other way. Also, tip, don't use mushrooms when you're approaching a turn, because you'll fly off like always. So I haven't figured out 
the mechanics of this uh, mini game. I'm just flooring it every time I use a mushroom and hoping for the best. Like this part is probably going to be a nightmare for anybody who knows how to do this because I'm I'm just god awful. I, I really don't know how to make the turns better. Like I'm leaning into the turns as well. Like I'm pressing the button to lean. Oh. Okay, I've, I've finally figured it out probably three quarters of the way through is that I have to break when it comes to those sharp turn areas or they'll fly off. So I use the mushroom at the improper timing there. Here, break, break. Okay, so that's what the break mechanic is for is so that when you hit the sharp edges that you can definitely finally, finally got uh, one of the jumps confirmed. Uh, jump confirmed as everybody knows and then Nope. Right off the edge. I like how I made the first turn, but I was going too fast for the second turn coming out of a turn. I was like, makes perfect sense. And now we're transported to the great land of Arizo Arizona? Why Arizona? For the Grand Canyon. Oh my god, I really hope... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the Grand Canyon's in Arizona. Trust me. Been there. Uh, I know my uh, Gigafri. Gigafri. This is... I'm really losing it this time, you guys. Geography. Yeah, geography is, is the word that I, I'm looking for. I like how Mario just, like, commits it, and it's just like, I'm gonna fall off. I wonder how the kids are going. Settle down, woman. I asked Mario to help us out, so I reckon he'll bring them back. Makes sense. I just have the odd feeling that they'll be dropping in at any moment. Classic foretelling. This game knows what it is. They're still gotta use the door like everyone else. Psych! We're actually gonna drop in in a minecart. Gracious, they really did drop in on us. Wow, game, you, you really, you, you really know how to bring out the the humor here, Mama, Papa. He's been knocked senseless. You're pull your baby. That's enough. Just have to have him back. We have more. Wait, did did it say him? Because I I thought this was I, I'm. I'm so confused. Why does it have, like, this giant bow and rattle? Like, how old is this kid? Like, that went into... Why? Like, first of all, your moles. Shouldn't you be, like, comfortable moving underground and not getting trapped? Secondly, why do you live by a place where, uh, you can have kids just wander into mines? Sniff it. Yeah, don't run away. Sniff it. What do you like to say, Mr. Beetle? Oh, hey, look, a beetle. And then we got... Sniffits. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. That's how I, I, I read that, is Sniffit. Sniffit, right? S-N-I-F-I-T? I never knew what these guys' names were called. I think they made the appearance in Super Mario Bros. 2, which is a hidden gem in the Mario Bros. collection. Uh, if I recall correctly, that's the one that allows you to play as... Mario, Luigi, or Peach, and was imported from Japan. Uh, nothing like the original game. Uh, completely different pattern, but I believe Sniffits were first introduced in that one. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not a Mario historian, so I'm definitely... Don't quote me on any of this. Don't say like, hey, you know what? PSB said that Sniffits appeared here. I'd be like, nope, I totally did not say that. It's like... When you tell your friends like some really good advice, but it's like, but that's just what I would do, or like, that's just like that's just my opinion. So like you can backtrack out of it in case anything goes wrong. That's what it reminds me of. So now we are on our way to Booster's Towers. We have a Lakitu uh, throwing over some spiny spiny guys. What are these spiny guys' names? I'm probably gonna run into them and find out real soon. Okay, there we go. Spikester. Okay, I, I would would hope for a little bit more of a... Actually, I can't complain. You know, I was going to say, I was going to hope for a little bit more of an original name. And then I realized that, oh my god, the, uh, what, the cactus? The, the, the succulent? The, the plant is an enemy? Wasn't expecting that. It's <laughs> you're kidding me. The name of the plant is Artichoker. 
Oh my god, the, okay. Just because of the naming of this enemy, game, instantly, all-time top favorite game. It, I don't know what the face is supposed to be inside. Uh, it's a crazy enemy, he does some like really weird things, but like, holy crap, this is... This is the coolest enemy with the greatest artichoker, like... Alright, you never what? I'm I'm appreciative of this game. Once again, I take back every negative thing that I was saying. But back to what I was talking about. I was about to complain about the name Spikester being too simple when I want the flame guys to be named Flamey instead of Sparky. So, you know what? It's uh can't always get what you want. Sometimes you just have to settle for what it is and what's good. So far, this seems like an area that I can bypass a lot, which I don't know is good or I, is good or bad, because I think I definitely need to. Well, okay. What? What? What is this? Evil carrots now. Um. What is the? How do you even care, boss? What the fuck was that carrot's name? Carabiscus. But that did a lot. Of, well, there you go. Uh best way to cook carrots is over the uh, open flame you know get a nice char on both sides of them uh, you know you've overcooked them if you've done 120 damage and they just pop into a coin so uh, I would oh my god mallow with the massive damage too okay I uh oh and then Gino leveled up getting that Gino boost like all right Making fun of the character models and everything I think is actually really rewarding because every time I do, for some reason, it's just like, oh yeah, hey, picking up a flower, so that's good. That will hopefully increase my magic potential, be able to do a little bit more magic attacks. I was going to say magic damage, but I know that doesn't correlate or causate uh, to, between the two. It is just an increase of my actual potential magic damage. And... That was a short little like connector area. I feel like I'm definitely skipping over a lot. And then we see Bowser balling his eyes out. Oh geez, it's Mario. Oops. And we have a creepy guy looking through the door slot. Uh, <laughs> the, once again, the conversation pieces in this game, it's like, Oh hey, how are you doing? If Toads were at my castle, she'd be crying. What is with those creepy eyes behind the door? Oh, and hey, it is Princess Toadstool. We found uh, the princess finally. It couldn't be. I can't believe it. It's Mario. I like how she doesn't even recognize like Bowser's down there too, and it's just like, oh, it's Mario. Bowser's just like, all right, I'm, I'm still here. That voice is Toadstool. I thought she got away, and she's been stuck here. Guess I'll be turning to my castle now. Out of my way, shorty. Okay, Bowser, I see how it is. Well, I guess we'll just go rescue the princess. We don't need your help, Bowser. Uh, it's locked. Well, of course it is. Now I'm going to have to go find a key. What? You're still here? The look on your face? I get it now. Out of my way, Shorty. I like how Bowser calls everybody Shorties. And I also love how he moonwalked so fast into that door that he popped it open. A big, uh, strong, like... Ugh. A big guy like him would be great. I'll let you join the Koopa Troop. My honest friends have joined the Koopa Troop. Or so they're pretending. Oh, sweet. So I have another creepy guy still watching me at the door. Would you an explanation of how to switch allies? Yes. So now I have three. Now you have, I have four, but you're limited to fighting to three. So you'd go down here, switch and choose who I'll change out. I like Team OG so far, which is Mario and Mallow, but no, no, I think Mario, Mallow, and Mario must always fight, so you can't switch him out. I think I'm going to switch out Geno for uh, Bowser, just because he has more health, and that's definitely something that my team has been lacking, or definitely been taking a lot of damage from. And then, oh, we have the Sniffits. Oh, so we have blue Sniffits? Or, is that blue? Purple? I'm, I'm gonna go with blue and black Sniffits. Gunk Ball. Classic. Shooting a giant ink ball. 
holy crap, does 21 damage. Alright, now we're into some of the hard-hitting enemies. This is, uh, this is something I've been looking forward to. And Bowser has a two-swipe, so this is, uh, getting used to that. How much miss on my boy Mallow. Also, need to pay attention to how low my health is getting, because I only have 20 health on Mario, but full health on the other characters, so I definitely need to heal sooner than later. And plus, I still think I have a bunch of the mushrooms and honey syrups. If not, I'm stacked in coins, I know. I have 945 coins. Yeah, look, and I have a wall of mushrooms. I'm definitely going to use as many of these as possible. And, nope, I don't have any flower tabs or anything else to use, so we'll continue up the tile bricks. What is this one? Booster the first. Oh, so each of them is like the previous generation. Alright, we have some spookums. Spookums are the blue ones, and sniffits are the black ones. So they are color coordinated, and they are different names. So. That one just went down, and this is like the magic caster, of course. Flame. Eat flame, Mario. Even though that's one of your own power-ups. Bop, bop. Only seven damage. Holy crap, this guy is going to be a tough enemy to defeat. Okay, never mind. He only takes a little over, like, ten damage, and he just blows up. That looks like Wario. Uh, definitely in the hiding in the door. Uh, definitely though, right now, I think it is a time- What the fuck is that? Like, a jester. I call that a, uh, a fortune cat with a peace sign and a jester's hat thrown onto it. No, it's actually a Christmas tree with a peace sign and fortune cat mixed together. That's that's what it looks, and I like how Drain looks like a small fireball ra rather than anything else. But Bowser does some serious damage here, so I can't complain too much. And these Spookums, they're they're decent damage, but nothing too crazy so far. And once again, hit him with the symbols there, Mallow. Give him the clap clap. I really like all of the characters that I've unlocked so far. Um, I think that it's interesting with the addition to Mallow and Gino, the uh, two characters I haven't seen in the Mario universe before joining them, and then being able to play along with Bowser I think is uh, is the f nice introduction. Like we had Mario Kart where he gets invited to go racing, and Mario Party where he uh, usually is the bad guy in the earlier Mario Parties that you have to defeat or he does bad things to you in the Mario parties. This one, it's just like, hey, you know what? Let's uh, join up together. I think that you can be a powerful ally. I also like the different attacks that these enemies can do. I like the uh, little crystal attack that he just did, dropping crystals on my house, full house. I, I don't understand why uh, Jester is Gambit from X-Men. Like, why is your special power throwing cards at people? As long, well, if he had a cool staff and uh, was purple, I would give it to him. But I have to say, I think Gambit was the better card thrower than uh, these jesters. And just melting through some mushrooms and the honey syrups. Definitely got to use both of them. Like I said, I have a lot of them, so why not use them? And we have a babam on a platform. What? What is that seesaw like? It's a little seesaw with the babam. Can't check the uh, the scores on any of the record keeping, so I'll just go to Creepy Wario and uh, follow in here. We're climbing up some scares. Ooh, some more spookums. Oh, it looks like they continuously spawn. So this is going to be one where hopefully I can either beat them fast enough or have to find a way around them. Usually there's a way of just like staying off to the side or moving left and right but so far so far so good I haven't uh, using Thunderbolt to do damage on multiple enemies like that's something why I might consider just 
or that's why I chose Mallow over Geno, is because he does uh, area of effect damage, and I think that's really important to have. Where I might use Geno for the Geno boost in later boss fights, because I think that would be helpful to have that against certain enemies. Or definitely against the bosses, because the bosses would be... If I can increase attack power or defense on my characters, I think that would be good against the bosses to help me prevent uh, from getting completely wrecked. Okay, so I could just go over to the right of them and just pass them right by. What the f... Okay, we have a Viking. I'm Booster, and this is my famous Tower of Amusement. Normally I welcome visitors. How a girl fell aside into my lap. Okay, this is Viking Wario. Um... Oh my god, that is scary. Like, his mouth just opened, like, completely wide, and it was just like... It, almost like Predator. I also love how he, like, he was on a train, and then he runs backwards. And then we got Sniffit the Magic. Like, I'm kidding. It's really hard to figure out what these guys do, because, like, some of them do Flame, some of them do uh, Blizzard. It's like... It's a really nice combination of different magical attacks based off of different colors of the Sniffit or Spookums. But it's probably just going to be more grinding, a few more kills. But yeah, like I like how he came out on the train and was just like, nope, I'm running back on my feet. I have something to attend to. And I'm just trying to figure out what... A f oh, the super jump definitely does a lot of damage, 136, so figuring out what affects them, what doesn't. They don't give a lot of XP though, it was 1 XP and 15 coins, so I feel like I'm really getting uh, gypped out of an opportunity there. Okay, and then we got some more bob wait, are these bob because they have pink feet? Oh, these might not be bob because they have pink feet. What was he? <laughs> okay, there's a treasure chest, and I missed it, and it lands me back down here on the seesaw with the bob -omb. So, I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to get that treasure chest. Maybe I'm supposed to use the bob -omb, but we'll have to climb back up the stairs again, because uh, I made the mistake of just jumping to my impending doom. And it looks like as long as I hug the, that wall, that uh, I won't have to fight any more of the spookums. Which aren't a bad thing, I probably should fight a little bit more of them, hopefully get a few more levels on all these guys. And that's why you always check your corners, because I found a flower tab, so I'm definitely going to be using that. So let's just try to go around this level. Okay, what are these ones then? Oh, we got a marionette doll. That's creepy. Uh, Remo Con? Okay, uh, never seen. Once again, a new enemy to the Mario universe, a Remo Con. Uh, jump bounce jump out super jump definitely super powerful against those guys uh, what are these bombs called these are raw bombs instead of bob bombs because they got the pink little feetsies so never knew there was uh, different members in the bob bomb fam well because it's bob bomb and now we got rub bomb uh, we had the guy run around this corner so I'm gonna find out ooh there's a switch what was that loud noise outside? Check Booster Pass. I need to go back and check Booster Pass. What is behind? Okay, never mind. Let's let's go over here. Okay, some more spookums on platforms. Uh, need to heal up because it feels like I'm going to have to fight a lot more enemies. Uh, probably should use some honey syrups too. Get my flowers back up. I had like 16,000 of them, so why not? Uh, I need to use the flower tab. <laughs> Why didn't I use the flower tab? I think if I increase my amount of flowers that I'll be able to actually get the full thing. Try to make this jump. Nope. Okay. Alright. Struggle bus uh, coming to a street near you. As you watch Mario, who is infamous uh, by the name Jumpman, not be able to do that final jump. Uh, so I'm just uh, actually going to give up there and walk away and oh my god this is cool like 
I'm old school Mario. Like, what? What is this? Like, what is a skin? Like that. That's such a cool Easter. I don't know if that is an Easter egg or something, but that was a cool little like thing that it allowed you to do. Uh, I can't do anything with the exclamation point. Uh, I can try for this box again. Uh, once again, my depth perception in this game is horrendous. I, I don't know exactly where that box is. Um, we can give it another shot uh, and try to get that before we move on to the next area. I'll probably do it like once or twice more. And if I can't get it, then I'll probably go back to Moletown and save there because I think that was the last time I had a checkpoint. But let's first beat up some more of these raw bombs and some of these weird uh, marionette dolls. Remo Cons. I wonder where these, uh, like, the game developers also come up with these names. Like, I wonder if it was like, what should the marionette doll be? And it's like, Remo Con. That sounds good. I'm probably going, I'm going to do some research after this video and find out like it has some like super deep meaning and stuff and feel like an asshole for saying it or just find out that it's like yeah we just decided to call it Remocon and it's probably not even pronounced that way it's probably pronounced something totally different and I'm butchering it but yeah we'll go with Remocon ooh only one single bomb a raw bomb cuz have to remember pink feet equals different bomb I won't like now I have to find out the bomb lineage who who was the original Bobomb? Is the big Bobombs different names than the small Bobombs? Um, jumping on the exclamation point doesn't do anything more than that. Any other hidden secrets behind the curtains? I don't. Nope. Definitely doesn't seem like that. I can attempt to try to clear this jump once more, and hopefully this time not look like a complete idiot. But you know what? I. I think I'm still going to be a complete idiot. We're going to fight some more of these sparkly magic guys. Watch out for the, uh... Why, why am I doing super jump here? I, I feel like I should have just done a regular attack. 79 damage. Because that, that guy dies from like 12 damage, so I, I don't understand why I just wasted my uh, amount on him. I should have been paying a little bit more attention. He's got crystals thrown at me and a nice little one-two jab uh, by the Bowser there completing out getting more honey syrup which I desperately don't need okay um, for all of you guys watching at home who are laughing at me struggle here you probably know something I don't uh, and that is I've never played this game so I'm not 100% sure if there's like a hidden block that I'm missing or how Mario makes this jump uh, you're just going to see me like pretty much just wander into the corner. Okay, nothing new up here. I have to go down. I, I think at this point I've made enough headway that I'm pretty confident with uh, what, what I can try this jump one last time. But I think uh, now would be the time. Like I landed on that perfectly. I think the bomb should have gone higher. But I'm going to go back to Moletown and save there and hopefully be able to figure out how I am to pass that insufferable jump in Booster Tower. So like always, I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I thank you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying all this. Hopefully I'm learning better. And until next time, have a good one.